Another nice way to make changes to your text is by using the arrow keys. When I'm typing something, the arrow keys will allow me to move the cursor around and make changes in the middle of text that's already there. In this sentence, I've written, Peter Piper packed a pock of pickled peppers, which is close, but I meant to put picked instead of packed and peck instead of pock. To fix the first mistake, I'll hold down the left arrow key, which will move my cursor to the left. When I get in front of this A, I'll hit backspace to remove it and put an I in there instead. I'm going to use a different key to fix my second mistake, the delete key. The delete key is right here, and I'll use my arrow keys again, but this time I'm putting my cursor to the left of the O I want to replace. Delete works just like backspace, but in reverse. When I press delete, the O disappears and everything else moves a little to the left. Now I can put an E in its place. Another key that's sometimes used in writing is tab. Tab usually sits just to the left of the Q, and if you're writing something, it usually creates an indentation. They used to tell us in school to indent like this at the beginning of a paragraph, but just so you know, that's not necessary for most writing nowadays.